Well, summer is here and so is the heat. As you prepare for your weekend plans out in the sun, one thing to do before you head out the door is put on sunscreen, right? We've heard it all. So here to talk about why sunscreen and heat protection is so important is Kelsey Farrell with the Treasure Valley Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center. Kelsey, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so you know, Rachel mentioned the UV index for folks who might be watching. I mean, what exactly does that mean, especially when it applies to your skin? Absolutely. So the UV index is a measure of the UV radiation and how intense the sun is putting that out. So that's the UVA and the UVB rays. And basically that index is telling us how quickly those UV rays are going to make you burn. So the higher the number, the more likely you're going to burn and the more quickly you're going to burn. And speaking of burning, you know, I think a lot of people hear about skin cancer, especially when it comes to this time of the year. What are some preventative me measures that people can take? Absolutely. So the highest UV index is usually between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So those are the times of day when you want to be the most protective of your skin. So things like seeking shade, wearing sunscreen, obviously, um, the sun protective clothing, nice broad brim hats so that it's covering your ears as well as shading your eyes, and then also wearing sunglasses can be very helpful. Oh, I need to go invest in more hats. Uh, is there something, is there such a thing as too much sun? I mean, I, I know a lot of people spend so much time outside now. Is, is that a thing? Absolutely. So there's no such thing as a healthy tan. Mm. That was a myth from back in the day. So all of that damage is cumulative over time. So even if you're not a sun worshiper, all that time you send in the sun is kind of taking its toll on all your cells and causing damage that's going to accumulate over time. So skin cancer is one big thing, but the other thing in the short term, you can get sunburns, which are pretty painful. Nobody wants to deal with that. And then also getting dehydrated or things like heat exhaustion and heat stroke. So yes, you can definitely have too much sun. Talk about SPF. I mean, we hear about that when it comes to sunscreen. Is there like a magic number when it comes to which number of SPF you should use or that you recommend? So there's not really a magic number. I always tell my patients on a day-to-day -day basis looking for SPF 30 mm -hmm. is the best. On these really hot days, I would look for a higher SPF, so SPF 50 or higher, and make sure that you're reapplying it every two hours or even more frequently if you're sweating or playing in the water. Oh, good to know. Uh, any other information that you'd like our viewers to know, especially when it comes to skin safety? So making sure that you're protecting your skin starting from a young age is going to be the most important thing. And then as you're getting older, any spots that you're concerned about, you should be going to the dermatologist and having them check out. And then once you hit about the 30 to 40 range, getting in to do those yearly head to toe skin checks is also going to be very important. Oh, good advice. All right, Kelsey, thank you so much for joining us here on the News at 4. Thank we'll be you. right back.